At 5 o'clock, police on the scene in Sunnyvale, where an officer shot and killed a man with a gun. Tonight, the crime the suspect is connected to and the circumstances that investigators say led to the deadly shooting. The police shooting happened this morning inside a home on North Fair Oaks Avenue. Crown Force Rob Flatabo is live at the scene. So, Rob, what do we know tonight? Well, Pam, what we know is that uh, there is an active homicide investigation going on here. Police have had uh, Fair Oaks Boulevard here shut down all afternoon. They're just now getting ready to open it back up again. We'll go ahead and push in for you. And I can tell you that uh, what this happened right down there at a home on the corner of North Fair Oaks and Maud Avenue early this morning. I can tell you there are actually two separate investigations here underway as we go to video now. One into the shooting, the other into the connection between the killed by police and a homicide investigation. The shooting occurred as police were serving a search warrant and then an arrest warrant here for a man they say uh, is a suspect in a homicide case. Here's how the shooting occurred according to Officer Jeffrey Plank of the Sunnyvale Department of Public Safety. My information is is they, they made contact at the door, um, uh, notified the, the person inside that they were the police and that there was a warrant. Um, there was non-compliance at that point in time. Uh, entry was forced and um, the su uh, subject inside the house produced a, uh, a long gun. Um, after uh, a, sh a brief amount of time, there was a, a gunfire and the suspect was shot. The suspect, still not identified, died at the hospital. No officers were hurt. Police say he is a suspect in a missing person case that evolved into a homicide investigation. The missing person was identified only as an adult female resident of Sunnyvale and that she and the suspect were acquainted. She is still missing and police have been searching here for about a year now. That is the very latest. Reporting live in Sunnyvale, Rob Flatabo, Cron 4 News.